The Philippines national football team Filipino, Pambansing Kaponan ng Football ng Pilipinas is the national football team of the Philippines and represents the country in international football. The team is controlled by the Philippine Football Federation PFF, the governing body of football in the Philippines. Philippines home grounds are Panad Stadium in Bacolod, Philippine Sports Stadium in Bocaui, Bulacan, and the Rizal Memorial Stadium in Manila. The Philippines' current manager is Sven Goran Eriksson. Despite being one of the oldest national teams in Asia and has been playing at the international level as early as 1913. Prior to World War II, the Philippines has regularly competed with Japan and the Republic of China in the Far Eastern Championship Games. So far, the national team has never qualified for the FIFA World Cup and has qualified for the AFC Asian Cup only once, in 2019. The national team's best finish in a major tournament was at the 2014 AFC Challenge Cup where they finished second after losing to Palestine in the final. History Early years The Philippines participated at the Far Eastern Championship Games, which included football. The first edition was in 1913 and the last was in 1934. The Games were the first regional football tournament for national teams outside the British Home Championship. The national team routinely faced Japan and China and at one edition the Dutch East Indies at the Games. The Philippines won over China at the inaugural tournament with the scoreline of 2-1. During the 1917 edition, the national team achieved its biggest win in international football. Led by Filipino-Spanish icon Paulino Alcantara, the Philippines defeated Japan 15-2. After the dissolution of the Far Eastern Championship Games, the national squad participated at the 1940 East Asian Games organized to commemorate the 2600th anniversary of the foundation of the Empire of Japan by Emperor Jima. The team finished third behind champions Japan and second placers, Manchukuo and ahead of the Republic of China. topic 1950s to 1990s In the 1950s the Philippines hosted friendlies with international based sides however the national team experienced lack of funding and barely received any coverage from the media During that time talents from the national team were drawn from the Manila Football League which received substantial support from the Chinese Filipino community the national team's decent performance at the 1958 Asian Games, hosted in Tokyo, where they defeated Japan, 1-0 in a game which was labeled as an upset by the Japanese press, after 1958, saw the decline of Philippine football. Several key players resigned from the national team due to financial challenges for playing for the national team. National team players Ed Ocampo and Eduardo Pacheco switched to basketball, and went on playing for commercial basketball clubs where players are paid. The Philippine Congress passed Republic Act 3135 that revised the charter of the Philippine Amateur Athletic Federation which had a provision or a 60-40 rule that mandates teams to not have more than 40% Chinese and other players with foreign blood. Sponsors withdrew and leagues, which were mostly funded by the Chinese Filipino community started to decline. The 60-40 rule was lifted much later during the tenure of President Johnny Romualdez of the Philippine Football Federation PFF. .After 1982 when the PFA has reorganized itself as the PFF, the national team suffered defeats with big margins at the 1962 Asian Games in Jakarta. This includes the national team's record 15-1 defeat to Malaysia, which became the worst defeat of the national team at that time. The record was later broken by the 15-0 loss to Japan in 1967 at the qualifiers for the 1968 Summer Olympics. Foreigners were hired to serve as head coaches for the national team in an attempt to reduce big margin loses. Englishman, Alan Rogers was hired following the record defeat to Malaysia and Spaniard Juan Catillas was likewise tasked to lead the national team following the record defeat to Japan. In the early 60s, the Philippine Football Association partnered with the San Miguel Corporation to seek foreign assistance to train local football players and coaches and to develop the sport in the country. Coaches from the United Kingdom, Alan Rogers and Brian Birch. After the two were relieved, Danny McClellan and Graham Adams continued their task. 
In 1961, San Miguel through the National Football Association bought in four medical students from Spain who were expert in football Francisco Escart, Enrique de la Mata, Claudio Sanchez, and Juan Catillas. Escart and De La Mata left the country after one year. In 1971, head coach Juan Catillas recruited five foreign players to play for the national team, four Spaniards and one Chinese. The national team joined several international competitions such as the Merdeka Tournament, Jakarta Anniversary Tournament and the President Park Tournament. The team caused some upset results against the national teams of Thailand, Singapore and South Korea. The national team saw another decline after the four Spanish players left the team due to financial reasons and basketball gains more foothold over football in the country. The national team under German head coach, Eckhard Krautsen finished fourth overall at the 1991 Southeast Asian Games, its best ever finish at the tournament. The Philippines dealt a 1-0 defeat to defending champions Malaysia at the tournament which knocked out the latter out of the tournament at just the group stage. Norman Fegadero scored the sole goal for the Philippines. Topic 2000s. In September 2006, the country fell to 195th on the FIFA World Rankings, its lowest ever. By the end of the year, the Philippines moved back up to 171st overall after a good run in the 2007 ASEAN Football Championship qualification. They were able to win three games in a row which was a first for the Philippines and thus qualifying for the 2007 ASEAN Football Championship. Coach at that time Aris Kaslib, aimed to reach the semi-finals with two wins at the group stage. The decision came despite Philippine Football Federation President Juan Miguel Romualdez stating that they would still be underdogs in the tournament and that they mustn't raise their expectations too high, as the Philippines have only won their first ever win of the tournament during the 2004 edition. The Philippines eventually failed to reach their target, only getting a draw in three matches. Their poor performances led to Caslib's resignation, as well as the refusal of the PFF to register and enter the qualification stages for the 2010 FIFA World Cup. They would be one of four nations, all from Southeast Asia not to enter after a record number of entries. However it was revealed that the decision not to enter the 2010 as well as the 2006 World Cup qualification was made during the PFF presidency of René Haddad, whose term ended in 2003. Instead, the PFF wanted to focus on domestic and regional competitions. The Philippines failed to qualify for any major competition in 2008. They missed out on the 2008 AFC Challenge Cup only on goal difference, and the 2008 AFF Suzuki Cup with an inferior goal scored record. Dan Palami, businessman and sports patron, was appointed as team manager of the national team in 2009 by the Philippine Football Federation. The national team still received minimal support from the government. Palami made financial investments to the team using his own personal money. Since taking responsibility over the national team, he has envisioned a plan named Project 100, which plans to make the team among the top 100 national teams in the world in terms of FIFA rankings. More foreign-born Filipinos were called up to play for the national squad. 2010s The Philippine national team's campaign at the 2010 AFF Championship under head coach Simon McMenemy was seen as a success and played an important role in football in the country. The national team along with Laos had to qualify for the tournament. The Philippines advanced from the group stage for the first time in the history of the tournament. They did not concede a single defeat and their win against defending champions Vietnam in the group stage in particular was considered as one of the biggest upsets in the history of the tournament. The match, which would later be referred by local Filipino fans as the Miracle of Hanoi, is also considered as the match that started a football renaissance in the country where basketball is the more popular sport. In the knockout stage, they had to play both their designated home and away games against Indonesia in Jakarta due to the unavailability of a stadium that passes AFF standards. The Philippines lost both games to end their campaign. The following year, the Michael Way became the Philippines head coach. The national team managed to qualify for the 2012 edition of the AFC Challenge Cup, the first time since qualifiers were introduced and also recorded their first ever victory in the FIFA World Cup qualification, beating Sri Lanka 4-0 in the second leg of the first preliminary round. 
Kuwait finished the Philippines World Cup qualification campaign after winning over them twice in the second round. In 2012, the Philippines qualified for the semi-finals of the AFC Challenge Cup for the first time winning over defending champions India and Tajikistan though they lost 2-1 against Turkmenistan in the semi-final. In the third place playoff the Philippines won 4-3 over Palestine. Within the same year the Philippines won the 2012 Philippine Peace Cup, a friendly tournament hosted at home, by winning all of the three matches. It was also their first title since the 1913 Far Eastern Games. At the 2012 AFF Championship, the Philippines replicated their performance in 2010 by advancing to the semifinal. They lost to Singapore on aggregate by a single goal in the two-legged semifinal. The Philippines reached the final of the 2014 AFC Challenge Cup. With a berth to the 2015 AFC Asian Cup on the line, the Philippines lost to Palestine 1-0 on 30 May. The Philippines once again advance from the group stage at the 2014 AFF Championship by winning over Indonesia, the first time since the 1934 Far Eastern Games, and Laos despite their loss to Vietnam. The Philippines faced Thailand in the two-legged semifinal, coming up with a goalless draw against their opponents at home in Manila but losing the away match at Bangkok. Thomas Dooley became the head coach of the national team. In October 2015 their 2-0 victory Yemen in Doha, Qatar in the 2018 FIFA World Cup and 2019 AFC Asian Cup qualifiers was their first ever World Cup qualifier away from home, a victory over Yemen in Doha, Qatar. They campaigned to qualify for the FIFA World Cup ended in the second round though they advanced to the third round of the Asian Cup qualifiers. In late 2016 the Philippines jointly hosted the group stage of the 2016 AFF Championship with Myanmar though they failed to progress from the group stage like they did in the past three editions. Though the national team failed to qualify for the 2018 FIFA World Cup in Russia, they secured qualification for 2019 AFC Asian Cup after defeating Tajikistan, 2-1 at home in their final qualifier match. Team image Supporters Some fans have organized themselves to support the national team, one of them is the Ultras Filipinas, which formed in 2011. The Cajaleros started out as a gathering of friends using Twitter calling for fans to watch games of the AFC Challenge Cup at the National Sports Grill in Greenbelt. The Ultras Filipinas was established when fans of Philippine Air Force FC and Ultras Kayas decided to form a support group for the national teams of the Philippines not necessarily just for the football team. The first outing of Ultras Filipinas was not for the national football team but for the national rugby union team. The two fan groups take alternative turns in cheering and chanting for the national team during games. Colors The traditional home kit is similar to the France national team, blue jersey, white shorts, and red socks. However, in recent times, the home and away kit has either been all blue, all red or all white. The current kit supplier of the national team is local firm, LGR Sportswear. German companies Adidas and Puma, as well as Japanese company Mizuno, has provided kits for the team in the past. Puma was the official outfitter of the national team during the 1996 AFC Asian Cup qualification. Later that year, Adidas assumed that role and outfitted the team that participated at the 1996 Tiger Cup. For three years from March 2008, Mizuno served as the official outfitter and equipment supplier of the team. It also helped the National Federation in its grassroots development program. In the 4th of June 2012, Puma supplanted Mizuno's role with the national team. Local firm LGR Sportswear became the official kit provider of the national team in 2015 and a new set of kits made by LGR were unveiled to the public in on the 5th of June, which was later used by the team at the 2018 FIFA World Cup qualifiers. The home and away kits were white and blue respectively. Filipino weave design and the three stars and the sun are present at the back of the home and away kits. The goalkeeper's kit is black and has a yellow trim on the chest area and a weave pattern with the three stars and the sun and Askel's logo incorporated in the design, in front around the shoulder area. 
Adidas was also announced as the footwear sponsor of the team for the qualifiers. The current kits of the national team were introduced in latter part of 2016. The home kit is white, the away kit is red, while a third kit, which is blue, was also used. Topic <laughs> Names. Under the official FIFA trigram the team's name is abbreviated as FI, this acronym is used by FIFA, the AFC and the AFF to identify the team in official competitions. The team is also identified under the International Organization for Standardization country code for the Philippines as PHL. However the team was more commonly known as the RP, the acronym for the country's official name, Republica ng Pilipinas, which the local press used when they referred to the team as the RP Booters, or the RP 11. This was until late October 2010 when the Department of Foreign Affairs decided to change the official abbreviation of the country from RP to PH or PHL to be in line with ISO standards. The local press have since referred to the team as either PH PHL Booters or PH PHL 11. The national team is referred to as the Askels. The name was coined when an online Philippine football community proposed the nickname Calle Azul, Spanish for Streets of Blue, referring to the color of their kit, which was modified to Azul Calle, shortened to Azcal, and finally became Askel, a word that is similar to Filipino term Askel meaning street dog. Askels became a trending topic on Twitter during the semi-finals of the 2010 AFF Suzuki Cup. They are also known as the Tri Stars which is derived from the three stars on the Philippine flag, although this nickname is not frequently used. <laughs> <laughs> Home stadium During the early years of the Philippine national team, they played their home matches at the Manila Carnival Grounds. By 1934 it became the site of the Rizal Memorial Sports Complex. One of the facilities within the complex is the 12,000 capacity national stadium, known as the Rizal Memorial Track and Football Stadium or simply the Rizal Memorial Stadium. Since its opening, it has been the home venue of the Philippine national team until May 2015 where they declared the 25,000-seater and Philippine Sports Stadium in Bokawi, Bulacan as their new home. However, due to disappointing attendance numbers in PSS and RMS and an impressive crowd for Series Negros FC's run to the 2017 AFC Cup, the Philippine Football Federation decided to make Panad Stadium as the national team's home again for the 2019 AFC Asian Cup qualifiers. The RMS has also become a hub for track and field. The continued use for athletics along with poor maintenance has deteriorated the stadium and the 1991 Southeast Asian Games was the last time it was used for international football matches. In early 2009, the Philippine Sports Commission planned to transform it to a modern football stadium which would make it usable by the national team for international matches. The national team also held official international matches at the Cebu City Sports Complex in Cebu City, and at the Barotac Nuevo Plaza Field in Barotac Nuevo, Iloilo. <laughs> Topic. Competitive records Topic Squad Topic Current Squad The following 23 players were named in the squad for the AFF Suzuki Cup, caps and goals updated as of the 25th of November 2018, after the match against Indonesia. Topic Recent call-ups The following players have been called up for the Philippines within the past 12 months. Notesing withdrew from the squad due to an injury Rhett retired from the national team Seuss omitted from the squad due to suspension pre-included in the preliminary squad. Topic. Previous squads Topic. Fixtures and results Topic. 
2019 Head coaches One of the earlier head coaches of the national team was Denicio Calvo. Foreign coaches of American, Argentinian, English, German, Scottish and Spanish nationality has managed the national team. Juan Catillas has managed the team in at least four non-consecutive tenures 1969–78, 1981–84, 1996–00 and 2008–09. Thomas Dooley led the national team to its best finish in a tournament sanctioned by the Asian Football Confederation and FIFA by leading the team to second place at the 2014 AFC Challenge Cup. The past three coaches, Simon McMenemy, Michael Way and Thomas Dooley, also made some strides at the regional level leading the team to the semi-finals at the AFF Suzuki Cup 2010, 2012 and 2014 editions respectively, the top football tournament in Southeast Asia. Eckhard Krautsen also led the national team to the semi-finals, its best finish at the 1991 Southeast Asian Games, before football became an under-23 tournament at said multi-sporting event. See also Philippines Women's National Football Team Football in the Philippines Notes <laughs> <laughs>